This Boolean expression here, f equals a or 1, can be shown to minimize to f equals 1. In other words, a or 1 can be minimized to 1. Now to understand this we need to refer to uh, the OR function because if we have a look here we can see that it is A OR 1. Now that implies we refer to the OR truth table which I'll just quickly reproduce here. Remember with the truth table we have inputs A and B and we have an appropriate output F. And of course the possible combinations are as follows. They both start off as a 0 then you can have a 0, 1, a 1, 0, and finally a 1, 1. Because we have a 2 input OR gate. Now, the only time we have a 0 at the output for an OR gate is when both the inputs are 0. So this would be a 0 here, and all the others would be a 1. Because with an OR gate, you have a 1 at the output if there is at least one 1 present at the input, or both of the inputs are 1. So that's the truth table there. One of the things we can see however is that we have this here, we have A. So that is a variable. Now that implies that A can be a 0 or a 1. Now here however we can see that this is fixed as a 1. In other words that does not have the opportunity of being a 0. If we now look to the truth table what conditions would satisfy this? Well, A is a variable, so A can be a 0 and A can be a 1. But where is the other input, the B input? Because really what we're saying here is that this input is in fact the B input, and we're saying that is fixed to a 1. So that is this input here when B is a 1, and this one. Consequently, the two combinations we're interested in here is this one, when we can see that A is a 0 and B is a 1 and this one here when A is a 1 and B is a 1 and both of those conditions give us at the output a 1 as you can see here and here. Consequently we can argue just by looking at the truth table that F equals A or 1 in fact is 1. If we take the expression again which is F is a or 1 and we've already tried to say that this is 1 and in fact hopefully we've proved it already what I want to do now however is to look at the two possible conditions that exist for f equals a or 1 if we have a look at this logic symbol here which is a logic symbol for a 2 input OR gate what we're really saying is that the input here is an a and the other input is fixed as a 1 if I come over here we can see the same thing again that one's A and the other input is fixed as a 1. Consequently because A is in fact a variable we can have A as a 0 here. Now we know this is a OR gate and we should know that for a 1 to be at the output we need at least one 1 at the input and we can see in this case that we have so the output here in fact is 1. If we come over to the other gate now we can see we have A there as well. So let's choose the other possible condition for A when A is a 1. Of course the other input is fixed as a 1 and we should know from the truth table that 1 or 1 in fact gives us a 1 at the output. So in other words regardless of the condition of A we will always have a 1 at the output. So when we see F is A or 1 we should realize that, well look, we have at least one 1 present at the input to a 2 input OR gate. And that's sufficient for us to have a 1 at the output. In other words, we could say it doesn't matter what A is. A could be a 0, in which case we have a 0 or a 1, which we know to be a 1. Or A could be a 1, which would be odd with the 1, which would give us the 1. But the key here is the fact that having a 1 at the input is sufficient to ensure we have a 1 at the output. So we can conclude that this Boolean identity here, f is a or 1, will always minimize to 1.